Hey guys, welcome back to the Music School. My name is Abhijit Hegde, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use sidechain compression or create the ducking effect in Logic Pro. So let's get started. So to add a sidechain compression in Logic Pro, the first thing we're going to do is create a sidechain trigger. So this is generally done by duplicating the kick drum that you're using in your project. So I'm just going to use the shortcut command and D to duplicate this kick channel. And I'm going to drag the same pattern that I've drawn here, holding the option key. And the first channel, I'm going to rename it as sidechain. The next thing, we are going to mute this particular channel by or create a ghost kick by coming into the stereo out and saying no output. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to send it to a bus. So we're going to go into send and select any empty bus which is available. So for this example, I'm going to select bus number one. And I'm going to hold the option key and I'm going to make sure the input of the send is full. So as you can see, it's at 0 dB right now. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my mixer channel by pressing the X shortcut. And where it says auxiliary 1, I'm just going to rename that also to sidechain. Just to avoid any confusions. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mute the bus output as well. So where it says stereo out, I'm going to hold left click there and I'm going to say no output again. Once all this is set up, the final thing that you need to do is whichever instrument that you wish to add sidechain compression to, you're going to select it and you're going to add a compressor. So I'm going to go into my audio effects and I'm going to go into dynamics and I'm going to select my compressor plugin. And finally, on this top right hand corner where it says sidechain, I'm going to select the bus, which was meant for sidechaining purpose. And now, if I just solo this particular channel, I'm going to adjust my threshold and ratio to set the amount of sidechain that I need. But before doing all that, I'm just going to make sure I turn off auto gain and auto release. And yeah, let's get it started. So you can see the, the string section is ducking every time the kick comes in if I just unmute the sidechain this is a string without any sidechain effect and this is the strings with sidechain effect if you feel the sidechain effect is too much then just go ahead and reduce the value on your threshold or if you want too much of the sidechain effect then go ahead and increase the value on your threshold Let me play this together. With sidechain. And this is without any sidechain effect. So that is how you basically add sidechain compression in Logic Pro. Hope you all enjoyed this video. For more interesting videos, make sure you head over to our YouTube channel. I'll see you guys until next time. Cheers.